Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade to macOS Sonoma from Ventura, uh, obviously with the new way templates. Uh, so you can see I've got a, a clean Ventura machine, but obviously yours will have some stuff on it. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the steps today on how to upgrade from Ventura to Sonoma. Uh, now, I'll make another video on Monterey to Sonoma just because the steps are a little different. Uh, but basically, without further ado, let's get into it. Just a note before we start this video, um, we do now have a blog um, called uh, environment.hsv.org. So we've called it The Environment. Uh, and it's now where you post all your help requests. So there's a lot of uh, different things um, with conversations, things of that nature. Um, so we hope you all enjoy that uh, and there's been great positive feedback. Now we're on Ventura here we can simply literally go into system settings and just start the software update so whilst we wait for that to check for updates if we go to snapshots click take snapshot and then we'll do it before Sonoma include the RAM click take snapshot um, that'll take a few moments depending on how much RAM you have. I've given this uh, 4 gigs of RAM. Um, but you can see it says task OK, which means it's finished. And now we can go back to console and click on upgrade now. Now, obviously, depending on your internet connection, uh, it takes a varied amount of time. Uh, for me, it shouldn't take too long. Um, but once it has completed, uh, I'll meet you back on the screen. So, won't be a moment. You can see that now it's on the preparation stage, so again, uh, we'll just work this out. Hopefully it doesn't take 30 minutes, maybe about 12, 10 minutes, something like that. Uh, and then we'll be ready to reboot. Just to note as well, um, if you signed in with an Apple ID uh, when you're trying to update, it may fail to prepare the update. If it does, just go ahead and sign out and then update, and then obviously we can sign back in. Um, but obviously I'm going to wait for this and then I'll show you the next steps. So you can see now, um, it's asking us to restart, so if we click on that, um, the VM will uh, begin to restart. Um, now, um, you need to be obviously aware, because um, you need to make sure your EFI is transferred, which it should be anyway if you're upgrading, um, and also you need to um, be in front of it whilst it's upgrading, uh, just to press enter a few times, but again I'll walk through that in a moment. You can see already that it's uh, going Sonoma like with the bottom uh, progress bar instead of it being in the middle, uh, which is great. I've also on the new template, it's got it set to automatically um, continue when you enter, uh, so that's great. Um, just so then you don't even need to be in front of it uh, and it'll be upgraded. Um, but obviously, if you haven't transferred that EFI over and things, then it won't do that and you'll have to press enter. But again, it's common practice, transfer that EFI as soon as you create your Hackintosh VM and then obviously go through to pass through. So for example here, you can see it's rebooting um, and now if I just uh, leave it, just don't do anything with it, um, it should then start to um, load again. Um, and then we'll be on the Sonoma desktop shortly to be fair, uh, so we'll just wait for that. You can see it just it's just rebooting a couple of times. Um, but we should be on the desktop shortly. Uh, just because it's an update and not an actual installation, uh, it'll only take around 20 minutes in total. Uh, obviously this video is much shorter because I've slimmed it down, um, just uh, for sake. Um, but obviously, again, um, this might actually be the final time that I um, need to reboot, let's see. You can see there's a progress bar now. Uh, nine minutes which isn't long at all but again depending on your drive speed etc depends on how long it's going to take and now as you can see we're on the Sonoma setup screen uh, after that um, if you're wondering why the black black ground is black and it will go white in a moment um, that's because um, the actual um, GPU isn't passed through uh, again um, Sonoma has new requirements for GPU pass through but you can see now we can go full screen and you can see Sonoma 14.0 so uh, that's going to be it for this video you can now obviously pass your GPU back through pass your USBs back through everything like that and now you're obviously off to the races with Sonoma 
We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like. If not, please do um, obviously leave a dislike and uh, post the improvements down below. Uh, also, uh, if you need any help, obviously visit the Discord server where you can find a link to the environment uh, where you can post your help requests. Uh, do consider subscribing. Um, also, thanks for 5,000 subscribers. Uh, really appreciated. Halfway to 10,000 now. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.